Heals welcomes you to the third Euro Symposium on Healthy Aging. Heals is the largest non governmental organization in Europe promoting and advocating scientific research into longevity and biogerontology. Thanks to generous support from our sponsors, Heals was able to organize this conference. The conference will highlight the cutting edge of knowledge in the field of biogerontology and provide a unique opportunity for researchers, government officials, biotech executives, and advocates from around the world to meet, network, and forge new scientific collaborations. What we're going to do now is a bit like a panel discussion in which you are all members of the panel. It's a kind of a structured discussion on the possibility that we collectively will make a declaration, which is provisionally entitled the Brussels Declaration for Radical Health Span Extension. And what we're going to do in the next half an hour or so, a few things. We'll discuss what's the point of issuing a declaration. Should we wait? Are, are the people going to come back in, or have they? But I think so who, who's in charge? Was, was there coffee? <coughs> if there's coffee, then we'll certainly have, have some, but. So, what we're going to do is discuss what's the point of making a declaration. Then we'll discuss what's in the draft declaration. And some of you were in La Motte Subito last night, and you will have seen a draft, a draft that's slightly evolved over discussion. And we'll go through it section by section. There are actually five sections. And we'll get feedback. This is where you come in, where you might say, about something that's proposed in this declaration, you might say, this is a showstopper. I can't accept this. This is something that's fundamentally too difficult for me to sign. That's a kind of priority. Or we might hear if there's something there that you would prefer to miss out or something that should be added in. And then we can discuss a little bit, we can discuss language improvements. And language isn't just a semantic thing, it's about striking the right tone. It's about avoiding language which might uh, disturb readers unnecessarily. It's about pulling them together. Then, after we've gone through the five sections, we've had some discussion, we'll uh, see if we can reach a sufficient consensus that we should launch such a uh, declaration. And very importantly, we'll discuss what will happen next. Because it's one thing to make a declaration and forget about it, but it's another thing to build on it. And so we look at some ideas for that. So let's start with the why question. Why do we need a declaration? Well, I showed this slide earlier, some of you may remember. I think the future is wide open. There are many ways in which the future of aging could work out. It could work out pretty badly, or it could work out wonderfully well. And it is up to public mood, it's up to individuals to make a difference. And part of making a difference is if there is a clear, inclusive, compelling vision with specific pragmatic steps. The people will say, yeah, now I understand it. This is important, and this is what I can do to help. And the more that this message can be shared, the more likely it is that the positive scenarios, whatever we call them, will come about. I also want to share a couple of slides that Robert used earlier. He has the same question. How can we persuade and educate the wider public about the importance of aging research? And you, remember, you may remember his answer. The message that we produce should be simple, bold, honest, hopeful, and relatable. And it's a message we should be able to repeat and repeat and repeat in the same words and in different words. So I think that's a great thing for us to bear in mind as we try to change the world through a possible declaration. So let's keep these principles in mind. Now, 
The declaration itself, as I said, has got five parts. I'll set them out first, and then we'll look into each one at a time. There's a title and a one-line summary. And many people are in a hurry, and that's all they'll see. And so that's got to be good. It's like a newspaper headline. It's the hook to make people pay attention. Then there's an introduction. It's a context. It answers the when question. And then we get on to the why. What are the results we envision from the program that we're going to be talking about? So there's a section on the why, the results. Then there's a section on the key steps identified, the how. What are we asking people to do differently? So we look at that. And finally, we come to the conclusion, which is the call to action, the bit that should stir readers to say, yes, you know, this is what I should do next. So that's the basic structure. It's meant to be a simple, bold, honest, hopeful, relatable structure as well, by the way. So let's get going. And some of you have got the paper in your hand. And what's on the paper is about 95% the same as what I'm going to run through now. So the title, the Brussels Declaration for Radical Health span extension. The defeat of aging lies within our collective grasp. It's time to seize this remarkable opportunity. Now, last night, we argued a lot about the word radical. Some people said radical's too scary, that many mainstream people will shy away if they see the word radical. I think that's wrong. I think radical's a good word. I looked in The Economist last night, what did The Economist say about the word radical? They're not afraid of calling for radical change. So, of course, there are some weird people in the overall uh, longevity movement. We're not using the word immortality, even though some of us might like it. I think this is mainstream words, and I like radical as an uh, opposite to cosmetic or small. I think radical is the right word, and although people express different views, I think on the balance I'd like to stick with it. So let's now do what I said. Let's take any comments. If anybody thinks there's a showstopper here, that means they wouldn't support it. Or if anybody's got significant comments, grab a mic and be recorded. So, Peter, so where are all the mics? So Peter and then Miriam. I just want to zoom out a tiny bit. I, I read a book on persuasive writing uh, uh, a, last year, um, on which the uh, the motto running through the whole book is "Remember the reader and the result." Yep. So what I'm thinking is, first of all, who would we like to read this declaration, and who is likely to read the declaration, bearing in mind that these may be two very different things. And secondly, what result are we likely to achieve? Um, beyond that, I don't have any problem with what's on the slide. Are these are good questions. Uh, by all means, chip in. Miriam, you, you had a comment? or? So I just have the question with uh, what do we actually mean with radical? So is it the same as substantial? Or is this, uh, what, what is the connotation here of radical? Radical means going to the root. We're not doing something cosmetic. We're not just changing how people might look. We're actually changing what is the real cause of health span extension. We're not satisfied with a small step. We're, we've got a big, big goal. As it says below, the defeat of aging. What about just life extension? Why do you insist on the health span and not just life? Because Pass the mic. If you use, if you use life span, Many people react and say, oh, well, I don't want to have my life extended because I'll be so weak in the end that life will be meaningless. So we specify that we're talking about health span. Can we also say radical healthy life extension? Yeah, I'm not sure that will have the same effect. Well, when you say radical life extension, will you kind of explain or say in more detail what you mean by life extension? It's not a strange word, health span. People will figure out, I know what that means. It's not a strange word, it's an interesting word. Yes. So, Miriam again? It's like life extension. Yes, no, no the, the thing is, everyone can, actually, everyone can actually live with the term health span. So if you ask even conservative people if they would have, want a longer health span, it's difficult to object. If you ask about lifespan, then you get more objection. 
but for the life extension community, health span also works because for us it's the same. Oliver? <coughs> I just want to say, I, I definitely think that... Um, There's a mic I coming back to you. Sorry. I agree with you that the, the, the word health span, I mean, it may initially seem unfamiliar, but I think it's a very, uh, fairly obvious what it means. Um, but uh, also I do think from my own experience that um, it's just, it's a very, very common objection uh, it's one of the first things that people come out with is, oh, you know, I don't want to be decrepit for years and years. You know, I don't like that idea. And I think focusing on health, uh, I think... We avoid that objection straight away. It won't enter people's minds. Yeah, Edward. Exactly. Someone yesterday asked me if I could bring it to a big company. I told him if you just start with a health span extension, it's going to be difficult. The wording is strange. If you add radical, it's just impossible. They will not except to even to show it to their manager. Uh, so uh, I, it seems to me that we can, for example, say for a radically longer health, uh, because in fact, radical is often used when it's not a big change and you want to look like it's a big change, and that's fine. When you, but when you uh, say it's a, a radical uh, uh, revolution, then people get scared. Because you are, you are, in fact, what wouldn't the Let me tell you, a lot of companies ought to be scared. A lot of companies are going to fail and they're, not, they're going to miss out the, the big opportunity. I'm not particularly interested in appealing to conservative companies who are already going to fail. I want to reach to the imaginative middle managers who think they need something bigger and better. Uh, and so that's my audience. Now, to answer finally oh, so Peter's question, question, we're not particularly interested in a bunch of stuck-in-the-mud, middle-aged people who, uh, uh, who are set in their ways, and they're going to fail in the way that Nokia failed and Kodak failed and Blockbuster failed. We want to reach out to the people who see that there's a, a big vision out there. So that's who I'm appealing to. Okay, but, okay. So sadly, that's not the ones I know. So substantial might be good. It's deflating. Rad radical is much more energizing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Radically longer health. I'm stopping here. <laughs> so the Brussels Declaration for Radically Longer Health. Should we work with this? Right. Should I be completely against if I change that? The Brussels Declaration for Radically Longer Health. Uh, Daria? vision uh, a world which everyone can have long and healthy life. It's not necessarily to put it here, do not insist that long and healthy life, but perhaps in text, uh, just uh, citing World Health Organization could be good. So we'll come to the other parts later on. So radically longer health. Radically longer, and healthier, healthier lives. That seems to be less simple. Like this? Is anybody going to walk out the room or throw themselves out the window at this point? <laughs> at the back? that at some point, maybe what we need is to have a certain consensus in our community. And it seems like we often like to split hair over things which are maybe not that important. I mean, I think the most important thing is to get this out, and this is already very good. Mm -hmm. I mean, if there is really a huge concern over one of the things that has been written here by someone, then maybe you should correct it. But if it's just a, a question of semantics or just trying to to see if one word is slightly better than one other word. I think we're not really yeah. directing our energy towards something really but, but I have some sympathy to Edward because he's saying he could not use this because this word would s block him. Okay, in so but, but, but Edward's got many other routes into companies, yeah. and he's not going to lead necessarily with this. He might say, you know, I've got some slightly crazy friends who are doing this. It's not really what I think, but, you know, you might want to look at it when you're having a quiet weekend, you know, so... Yeah. So also, 
how definitive is this? I mean, we could already publish this one or a slightly modified version, and at some point we could maybe make a version two. Well, we should certainly evolve it, and that's coming to the very end, which is the next steps. Would, would it be good to send it to the government? Yeah. And would the government going to be scared if we talk about radical health span extension? Well, if somebody, it's okay. If somebody uh, goes like uh, radical, then it makes uh, it easier sometimes uh, for less um, radical people to talk because they're not starting to know. So right. it, there, is use from, there is also use from radical messages. So you would argue for... Substantial health span extension. No, no, I'm okay with that. Okay. okay, if we're okay, let's move to part two, the when. So this is the sort of the opening state. The 1st of October 2016, during the International Day of Longevity, the Euro Symposium of Healthy Aging, EHA, meeting in Brussels, proclaims the possibility and the imperative of a moonshot project to overcome aging within 25 years. So that changed a bit overnight. Greg. Do we really want to describe it as a, a moonshot project? It makes it sound like we're asking for just one piece of effort, one project. That's not really what we're after, is it? So what would you suggest instead? Damien? I would say that we change overcoming aging to overcoming age-related disease. It just sounds friendlier when we already, we already have the radical thing in there. So it maybe it sounds like a bit more, you know, a group of scientists asking for a new approach to disease instead of people just saying, you know, like, we don't want to age. So two things we're discussing is whether it's a project is enough People talk about Apollo project, meaning a, a great a, a moonshot. I don't think that's a, a, an unusual word. To, a project can have many projects inside it. It's a big project. In terms of overcoming aging or overcome age-related diseases, any views on that? At the back? that we want to overcome it. Um, if we want to overcome age-related diseases, then we may fall into some of the problems that Daria uh, explained, such as that you have to <coughs> overcome every single one of these diseases individually, which may require a lot more effort than trying to just direct towards general yeah. purpose. I prefer this as being slightly simpler. Didier, and then Miriam, and then Daria. I will say something. Uh, the, the two two things, uh, two contradictory, contradictory things. The first thing is I, w I think that we don't have to discuss each word. But on the other side, I agree with Damien here that overcome age-related uh, diseases is actually two times better. It two looks, times better. Yeah, because it looks more moderate, but it's also uh, clear that uh, you have, uh, well, that, uh, that um, diseases related to old age kill a lot, and that's, that's our goal is to uh, defeat this disease, this, this, uh, sorry, this disease. I, I'm tired, but uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, for me, it's win-win situa situation. Once well, a, once it's a, more clear and okay, it looks... Okay, lots of hands. I said and Miriam and then Daria. Daria. One sec, just, isn't it normally called International Longevity Day? I was just going to make a point as well. It should know, be capitalized as well. Yeah. Yeah. So which should be capitalized? It should be International Longevity Day and capitalized I D. Is, is, that, is that right? Yeah. Well, it's, uh, sh it's not International Longevity Day, but I, I'm after Miriam. Yeah, um, but if you pointed that way, I mean, this is already um, standard, like that people are already trying to tackle so age-related diseases. So that's nothing too new. Look, it's spelled like that in all the main so, so maybe the, there should be some, some compromise in, in regard to tackle age 
related challenges or, or, or things like that, so not directly to the... How about we modify it to say possibility, impressive of a moonshot project to overcome age-related diseases by tackling aging as the root cause? Well, it's okay to explain it several times. That the yeah. beginning should make it clear by tackling, what was it? Age? Aging as the root cause. This is a oh, Belgian as the common keyboard. cause. Tackling aging as the root cause. As their root cause, maybe. I should have used my own laptop. Yes. So the longer it gets, the... Uh, so, uh, the imperative of a moonshot project to overcome age-related diseases by tackling aging as the root cause, as their root cause. Now, first, maybe within 25 years, by tackling, maybe this result. Well, I think it's everybody will understand. My, my point is that um, there is confusion, uh, and I've always, always complaining that Ilya was promoting October 1st as International Longevity Day, while it is already recognized for many years in United Nations Day for all the persons. And uh, that might make us look like a raiders who want to steal somebody else's holiday. So I would really uh, call to stick to United Nations UN International Day of older persons and pick another one here today. So... It's, it's on the UN website. Uh, Edward, are you talking on this point? Uh, in fact, we've declared the, lo the longevity months because it was difficult to organize everyone on yes. the same day. Uh, even this, if we want to put it in a, in a, a journal, uh, and, and if it's in a few days, if it's uh, 1st of October, it will be a bit... Uh, uh, after a bit too late. So if we have the, if we say uh, during the longevity months, uh, then uh, it's valid for one month. Uh, so I will agree with Daria or propose longevity months myself. So I think it's special it was done this day, which is also. It is today. We're announcing it. For well, the first day of the longevity months. No. I'm just saying. This is getting longer and longer. Then, then, then I agree with I'm going to get my yellow pencil out in a minute. Yeah, that, uh, that's something. Uh, I, I well, it's not very important, but I strongly disagree with Daria because uh, I know that you said that, but I never had uh, a negative reaction. I never saw a negative reaction until now. But I don't. I, I know that uh, you said that they were, but I don't. I don't think nobody uh, cares about this. Well, for now, I'm, I'm, at least I was in this. I, I know these organizations, and I know this World Health Organization people and people around them. Let's just look uh, outist if we just declare that we have um, that holiday. Uh, well, it's been talking about a lot. It's already been done, hasn't it? Why are we going back? Well, Ilya was didn't just read enough <coughs> for the internet. He, he, he should have checked the United Nations website. He seriously created confusion and. I think it was done on purpose, wasn't it? No, no, yeah, he, he was just new. He chose this date because it was already a date that had some history. Any other comments on this? We've got 15 minutes left to get through the, 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 the core no, I'm part. I'm strongly against the International Day So you won't sign it? Huh? You won't sign it? Uh, Is it a well, showstopper? It looks like uh, we're, we look like a crazy group of people because there are other uh, uh, NGOs, which a big one, which to try to help retired people, I don't know, to give them food or something. They celebrate it differently. Anybody want to support Daria on this? So what would you like? Uh, same thing. Same thing. So what should I say instead? In the United Nations Day of older persons. But we're not really focusing on older persons here. We're focusing on longevity. I think this has been done. Do we need it at all? Right. Well, so just say the 1st of October during uh, the Heels Conference. 
Hmm? Oh, it says that. So, unofficially in the Trans-Siberian community, we call it not one year, day for years now. Yeah, we celebrate and make parties. Well, yeah. 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 We so, celebrate two things in the same day. Too. We can celebrate more than one thing in a day. I agree. So, shall I have the simpler version, like this, yes. which we don't reference it, or shall I put back that? Can I have a card? Show of hands. That's very democratic. Who would like to retain the reference? If you've got a strong, just vote if you've got a strong view. A strong view that you think we should keep this reference? Well, and who has a strong view that we should drop this reference? Three. Well, I'm going to be democratic here. that we are people uh, the, who did most lobbying work here. Sounds like, you, I mean, sounds like there's some politics behind the scenes, some in, the, in, interpersonal fraction going on, which maybe I'll separate off for the time being. Let's keep that. Let's look at the next bit. So it, it says we are going to have this moonshot project to overcome age-related age -related diseases within 25 years by tackling aging as their root cause. The result will be a world where health care will be le far less expensive, where happiness can be extended without time limitation, where people will care more about environment on a long term in view of their expectation of much longer lives, where the right to life will be more precious than ever because life will be longer and more peaceful than ever. That's uh, quite a... I mean, why happiness? Uh, some people are unhappy because they're just depressed. And the peaceful, it's uh, such an assumption. How can be? So, Miriam, hand up, nice and loud, uh, so nice and... I'm not sure with the will, so if it's uh, too determined. I'm not sure if the will, the result will be, is too deterministic. Can we say something the result can be? But is the purpose to be 100% accurate or to communicate? Something? Say what we want is this, this is the question. Say what we want. I, I, for me, that is a very positive vision. People read that and they think, oh, yeah, maybe it's not such a stupid idea. Any other comments on this, Edward? I'm not uh, native English, <laughs> but it seems to me that we can say the result will be a world where healthcare is uh, far less expensive, etc. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, that's what I, I, I think I've yeah, learned in you're right. school. Um, and uh, indeed, I agree that uh, um, love and happiness. Uh, Maybe it's too much. It's uh, no love here. It makes us a little like uh, crazy guys together. Uh, so maybe we can remove happiness and uh, peaceful. I think in order to look more clear about our objectives and uh, really be, you know, not such a strange like, people. Like said, yes. So remove this whole clause. And peaceful, yes, and peaceful all. So I'm, I wasn't sure where the peaceful came in actually. I'm going to chop that out. Because why is it more peaceful? I mean, it w that's a separate thing. Didier, you want to defend your text? Yes. Uh, well, first, um, first, I want to defend a change. Uh, so, uh, people are afraid of longevity for good and bad reasons, and one of well, for bad reasons. Sorry. <laughs> okay, but okay, and one of the reasons is they are afraid of inequality. And it's very important, I think, to say that, uh, but uh, I forgot what I... Uh, inequality bit's coming next. Sorry? In a, the in a bit about inequality and inclusive is coming ah, later. Ah, you, you, put, you put it uh, somewhere Inclusive else. is right at the end. Uh, inclusive low-cost solutions available to everybody. Okay, but I think the, to put the word, uh, where el the, the, my proposal was to put where healthcare is uh, more equally available and less expensive. That's one. But why do we need to say it's equally available? It's a separate Be thing. Beca because, the, uh, because the central question that people always ask is, uh, isn't it going to be uh, for rich people only? That's well, really we answer that by saying it's inclusive, available to yeah, everybody. Yeah, but inclusive is a more abstract word. Uh, uh, everybody okay. is not abstract. But, okay, and now back to What the about happiness? Uh, about, uh, okay, I will not fight for this if nobody... 
because it's related to the question of terror management terror and so on. Uh, so I don't fight for happiness, but uh, I want to fight a little bit for peaceful because really a world where people live longer is a more peaceful world. Mm -hmm. It's already the situation nowadays that as when people live longer, there's less criminality, there is less violence, uh, and it's, it's really very important. Of course, you cannot explain everything uh, in a text, but I can assure you that there is no discussion about this. Greg. Um, Well-being instead of happiness. Well-being. No, no, no. Well, for me, it's without time limitation. It's a mortal is more right. So, Greg, you make your point, and then we'll discuss happiness or well-being, and we'll discuss yeah, without my, time. My, yeah, my point is just linked to happiness. If, if we don't want to say happiness, then we could maybe, I, th I think, Somewhere it needs to be reflected that one of the key aims here is the avoidance of suffering in old age. That needs to be got across, I think. Because that's what people are, people are afraid of getting old, aren't they? Yeah. Well, it's also without time limitation. It's really mortalist. Uh, it's, of course, nice, just a bit hard to achieve uh, in the eyes of the... So what should I say instead? Well... Edward? Maybe we're I'm keeping we're happiness until I hear a strong argument against it. So far it. we have not discussed about the health, but health care, the costs. So now it's where health and well-being can be radically extended. Where health and well-being Radically. Did you saying that it's good? You so don't mind this strange <laughs> word, radically? Uh, radically extended. It's already there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. The. It's without that limitation should go. Yeah. Yes. Shall we say health, happiness, and well-being? Can we include it? So where happiness, health, and well-being. Hmm? Well, happiness uh, does not de depend too much on... Uh, yeah, like, if somebody is already, like, well, I mean, they could have a psychological issue, be unhappy yes. themselves, but they need to be fed and well and avoid suffering. I mean, it's just handy. Yeah, yeah okay, I, I agree to, to leave happiness here, like, well-being is... So you take out happiness. Yeah, yeah. So. You agree to take it out. So where healthcare is far less expensive, where health and well-being can be radically extended. But my, my proposal for the first sentence was where healthcare is more <laughs> equally accessible to everybody and far less expensive. That's a political issue. Yeah, so I think so. Yes, of course. But, uh, and of course, the, the, the one of the big problems, once again, so the concept is of, of equality is something uh, most people are in favor of, except, except far right. Uh, and also people, even when there is no reason for this, even when you speak about metformin, and metformin costs one cent per pill, there are people who say, oh, it will be for rich only because if it is good for longevity, it will be more expensive. So I think it's really exp uh, important well, to put I, I think we should cover it somewhere. Currently, it's right at the end. Available, available on equal terms to everybody. Available on equal terms to everybody. So let's come back to here. We are seven minutes to go. What, what, what about avoidance of suffering in old age? Does that need to be reflected somewhere? So I'm going to say we're human well-being.
It's the French keyboard. Or a Belgian keyboard. Right. What about the last two clauses in this uh, third section, where people will care more about <coughs> the environment, surely? On a long term, in view of their expectation of much longer lives? This would be placing greater value on their environment. Well, people will place greater value on their environment. Why? place greater oops, value on the environment. Long term. How about value the environment more or in the long term? Yeah. Keep it short. We'll value the environment more in the... I, li I like this, where people will place greater value on the environment in view of their expectation of much longer lives. Yeah, and the final one, we've got peace in here. What, what, what's your view on the number four? Where the right to life will be more precious than ever because life will be longer and more peaceful than ever. Here, this one? The, the first one, uh, just... I don't want the, the result could be. No. I think we need to have the, w the result will. Yeah. So we could... We I'm st I struggle with the style in here. Okay, maybe with uh, free... Because we have envisioned... Okay, then I'm okay with the will. Ah, but this not there. The, the results envisioned is not part of the... It's not part... Could, could we potentially get rid of that last bullet point? Because the point we're making there is very similar to valuing of the environment. People will also value peace more as well. So where I'd people will place greater value on the environment and peace in but view of I, their expectation. I, if we're going to get rid of one of them, get rid of the third, because everybody wants life to be precious, longer and more peaceful. That's totally uncontroversial, whereas not everybody wants to worry about the environment. Yeah, let's well, send it for peace to the environment. At least there is explanation why. I, I think it's quite good to have a, like, a strong argument against life extensions. It's, it's selfish and it's just egotistical, whereas that's saying this is uh, helping the environment. It's good for everybody, isn't it? Any showstoppers left on this? Anybody desperate to move to change anything here? Is it good yeah, enough? It looks that childish. Let's put environment and peace. That appears to be more. Oh, oh, sorry. Well, people will place greater value on the environment and peace. Yes. And? Global peace and on peace. And take out the last. No, no, just uh, that era. More precious than one. Right, 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 the right side will be more precious than ever. Skip it. The right to the life will be more precious than ever. Yeah, just. We can come back very quickly at the end. Let's look at number four. Because this is the guts. This is the most important thing in a sense. This is what we're asking people to do. But why is it single project? Kazakhstan already had a project. Russia already started a project. So it's a, it's, a, it's a moonshot. Can we say goal? Initiative for projects. So. Project can be a very great, broad thing. So is that a moonshot initiative? What, 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 what about the possibility and the imperative to overcome age-related to delete of a Montman shop project and make it a goal? But uh, what is Montman shop, by the way? <laughs> it's like <laughs> going to the moon. Proclaims the possibility and the imperative to overcome age-related diseases 
I think that's good, yeah. Or, 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 or a generational project, I should say. That, that expands out. Well, it doesn't sound much like it's I like the word moonshot. The original text actually had a bit, a bit more in here about how wonderful the, moon, the real moonshot project was. How about a moonshot generational project? No. Okay, I'm going to leave that. What about the other reference to project? I, I, project can be big. Sometimes people say a moonshot program. That sounds more specific to me, an actual program. A project is something you, uh, you are working out to, to create in the future, isn't it? It doesn't have to be yeah. a program, so it's like a set series of things. Okay, let's leave that in the interest. Let's look at this. Key steps in the initiative. I'm happy to change this to initiative. Key steps in the initiative will include, are these the right things? A paradigm shift, stressing the need for a, so we've discussed this many times in the conference, everybody agrees on that. The removal of regulatory or other barriers which prevent or. Maybe can we change the research to R&D? Say, say again, Daria. Can we change research to R&D? Research and development. Research and development, or shall I say R&D? R&D, it just means that something... Everybody knows what... All, all, all the members of the public will know that what R&D is. How does the program mean more? Who doesn't? I think, I think half the Daily Mail readers would know what R&D is. Daily Mail readers are going to read these right? Yes, some of them will. A paradigm shift, stressing the need for research and development on ageing itself, rather than simply on individual diseases of old age. That's not important, but I don't think that it's useful to have research and development. That's a general term. That's research that we want. We want. Well, okay, that's not important. Okay, I, I shut up. I should shut up. Uh, well, we want development I didn't say remedies. That. We don't want development of aging, do we? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, uh, Maybe it is just research. Research is good. Yeah, I think development is covered by the other board. Rather than only, only yes. instead of simply only. Yeah. People happy with that? Yep. Who else had a hand up? <laughs> Katerina, you had your hand up. You had a point? No. Only on individual diseases, but then since you amended above, uh, the project was going to tackle age-related diseases. It's this kind of repetition. So I would remove in the, uh, the former section, number three, just um, a moonshot, or even better, just a project to overcome aging within 25 years, and then <coughs> stop the sentence there. And then those well, in a sense, it's good if this explains it well, because many people will just stop here. Mm. So it's yeah. good if that's self-contained. And that sort of does set out quite well the whole scope of what we've got in mind. And then the rest of it's more details. And the question is, is this uh, repetitive down here? But I think a paradigm shift is important. It is important to talk about a paradigm shift. And... Uh, Regulatory and other barriers, rather than all, because you're using all later on in the sentence. Yeah. Regulatory and other barriers which prevent or disincentivize companies from developing treatments for aging itself. And then an accelerated program. DDA suggested an accelerated international program. No, no, but I, I saw that the okay, so an accelerated program to test anti-aging interventions. We took out general protective, we thought that was too, too complicated. Anti-aging interventions on a much larger scale than anything that exists at the moment. <coughs> envisioning human clinical trials of genuine rejuvenation biotechnologies by 2021. By 2021. We copied this from SENS. Okay. And we actually originally said we support SENS. 
And people said maybe we shouldn't be quite so uh, uh, picky or uh, selective. Happy with this? We're out of time, actually, so I'm going to... Well, we're testing. The original one, remember, said testing on animals. No, the, la the last bullet gives a clear goal with a clear time scale. Mm -hmm. The yeah. doesn't. That's Is there anything else you should be in here? But I mean, there was the proactive principle that Sven was talking about. You know, we should move beyond a do no harm. We should be taking more risks. I thought about it. I'm not sure it actually belongs here. Daria? But there is already human clinical trials on representation. Uh, in Japan and America, maybe we should put envisioning multiple human clinical trials. So why does Sense say this is a vision for 2021? Maybe they mean of their of their of their. It's very very new, very recently organized clinical trials on this uh, infecting the brain disease. So envisioning multiple. multiple Serious? A series of multiple or multiple? multiple. So, and then there's the conclusion, which in some sense is very important. These programs need to be financed by public and private organizations. They will involve a coordinated effort at national and international level, integrating different existing research approaches to create inclusive low-cost solutions available on equal terms to everybody. These programs will require here. Yeah? No, no, they, they, they will require the next sentence. They will require. Yes, there's more of a call to action. Yeah. They will require a coordinated effort at national and international level, integrating different existing research approaches. So that's the whole lot. I'm going to go through these one again, in case anybody wants to say, "Hang on, this is a showstopper." Let's just look at it. Don't use up too many showstoppers. It has to be really important. <laughs> Is it the or not the? We don't know, we need us. Okay, so I'm getting there. So, moving on. Where people place instead of where people will, will place. And where the right to life is more precious. Yes, we were saying where we're told. It doesn't say four key steps. Sorry, this this is just a this is just a title of the slide. The actual thing says key steps in the initiative will include. I just stuck that there as a navigating device. I was wondering if there was it's, it's kind of uh, not to shock scientists, but I don't have a, a solution directly. But some people say there are already things going on. Or no, no, that's probably the ministry making no, that's You you could merge the third. Leading to. Yeah. Comma, leading to. Yeah. Whatever. Well, it's not necessarily a convenience. It could be a governmental initiative, for example, to test it. So, 
I didn't quite understand that. Why, why not leading to? I mean, it could be more than one program as well. But I mean, we don't have to be 100% of the time. The trouble is by introducing more of the, the evidence instead of the Starting from over. Already by, OK, yes. I mean, it's nice to have a time scale, though. Yeah. 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 I think the evidence is better. Leading to multiple human clinical trials of genuine rejuvenation biotechnologies so by like starting. Yeah. Hmm? Tie in with sense. We're almost finished. And then the conclusion. One more look at this. Well, uh, public is government or mm. yeah, uh, governmental uh, yeah, actors, including both profit. Both profit and non profit. Are they, non -pro are they private organizations, non profit organizations? Yes. She calls it a profit organization or for profit? For profit, yes. Both for profit and non profit. By public, by, by public. And private organizations, no, it doesn't quite re read yet, it doesn't read quite right. Need to be financed. No, just to move the whole thing, uh, because private organizations are, you know, can be private. Yeah, that's the first uh, uh, sentence important at all. Sounds good. Okay. But, yeah. Why do we have that first sentence? Because, I mean, they, they, they will require, uh, yeah, because. Uh, the programs will require a coordinated effort at national and international level, so we can start from the second sentence and then extend it uh, with mentioning uh, that they should be financed. Well, I think it's good to clarify that we need government. We need yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 but can, can we start with uh, these programs will require a coordinated effort, blah, 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 and then the second uh, sentence, th the programs uh, sh uh, should be financed by both uh, public and switching around because it sounds good actually to look for some program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would uh, bring this uh, cheap solutions to the first then. Where is the dot? <laughs> There's no dots in, in <laughs> belt. Shift, 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 shift comma. Yeah. Shift comma. I can see the comma. I can't see the dot anywhere. I'm going to have to copy and paste it. Oh, here we go. It's shift semicolon. How did Belgium manage with shift? <laughs> These programs will require a coordinate effort at national and international level. And, uh, it, sorry, it shouldn't even be there, is it? It should be integrating different re research approaches. <laughs> Period. Where's the dot gone? It's still here. They need to be need to be financed by public. Yeah, by both. Uh, 
How do I join these together? They need to be financed by both public and private organizations. And create. To create. And create inclusive low cost solutions available on equal terms to everybody. Isn't that quite good for the city? Yeah, it's 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 very very is this available? Are we Marxist? So I could just say, oops, I could just say that. No, no, I strongly disagree. Yeah. I it really is think, no, well, on equal terms, just. Yeah. Instead of low cost. No, yeah. Okay, but low cost <coughs> solutions, that's another question than on equal terms to, for everybody. That's another one. You, can, you can have low cost solutions. Except available low. where? Um, not available back. Available on equal terms. I forgot where it came from. The program will require a coordinated effort at national and international level, integrating different existing research approaches. They need to be financed by both public and private organizations and create inclusive, affordable solutions available on equal terms to everybody. Let's hear, let's hear Sven and uh, Damien. We're moving forward here, and we're not going around in circles, so I'm quite happy for the discussion. These programs will require a coordinated effort, blah, 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 uh, or integrating different existing research approaches. Why only existing? We shall be developing new research approaches. So integrating yeah. integrating uh, different existing. Integrating different. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Existing and novel. And novel, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Integrating different existing and novel research. And so then we have one problem less of uh, people who are already doing something. Yeah. Yeah. And perhaps efforts not everyone. Perhaps. Efforts. Efforts, approaches. I'm going to leave it as our coordinated effort. So oh, no. Numerous? Multiple? Integrating existing and novel research approaches. Yeah. Hmm? <coughs> Integrating diverse? Any final comments on this clause? But it will require embracing of the, the, the wider public to embrace this. It's, it's, I don't know. Can't think of anything yeah, it's, it's 4 p.m. It's 4 p.m. <laughs> yes, but we shouldn't have discussed aging as a disease for all that long hours. Just um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, um, I didn't mean to say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I did have some discussion uh, on what um, we were going to um, do next. No, no. Yeah, I'm sorry, like Damien. Yeah, we said Yeah, you. just one small grammatical thing. I think that there should be a comma after inclusive or an and after inclusive. Inclusive. Yeah. Inclusive. People argue about commas a lot. Uh, I don't think or an and or an and symbol or whatever. 
and create inclusive, affordable solutions. Do we need inclusive? I think inclusive is such a good word. Affordable, inclusive? Yeah, but we need a comma or an end. Well, why why do we need comma? comma? I, I think that you know, affordable, inclusive, and it's, it's, two two, it's two adjectives. It's two adjectives. Two adjectives. <laughs> Does it? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, concerning grammatical questions, I yeah. suppose that we give the authorization to David and Oliver. Yeah, it's <laughs> grammar is like, if, if yeah. your grammar sucks, nobody's going to take it seriously, diverse right? Integrating diversity, right? Inclusive, affordable solutions available on equal terms to everybody. How are we doing? Yeah. We're good. We're good. Yeah. I'm sorry everybody is dissatisfied with at least some bits, but hopefully, collectively, we are satisfied. And I will send this text to everybody and we will do something with it. We haven't discussed follow-up, which is a great pity because yeah. we can't just launch it and do nothing. I will send, I will put this notes as well. I think Keep that slide on. So we can look at it. Should, should we be asking people to sign up to it? To get... That's what it says there. Ask the general public to sign the declaration online. Right, sorry. Oh, yeah.